Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. You're watching The Charcoal Chef, I'm Big Vince. In this video you're going to learn how to make some juicy and flavorful lemon and herb chicken leg quarters with some garlic and herb potato wedges that are out of this world. For dessert, you're going to want to sample this quick and easy roasted peaches with ice cream that will blow your mind. Now let's get started. First we're going to take one lemon and cut it open. We'll set that to the side for a minute. Next we're going to grab one of these chicken leg quarters. A chicken leg quarter is just the chicken leg which is still attached to the thigh. You can cut them apart if you want to, but I'm going to leave them together. When you buy chicken leg quarters from the store, they will sometimes have this flap of extra fat and skin on the bottom side of the thigh. We want to go ahead and cut that off. It won't do anything for the chicken. It won't add any flavor or moisture, so we really don't need it. Just trim it off and toss it. Now we're going to make this brine and I should tell you now that this dish does require a little bit of planning. We're going to brine these chicken leg quarters for about four to six hours. You can do it overnight if you want. Okay so we put some salt in this bowl with water in it. Next we're going to squeeze the juice out of this lemon into the bowl. Brining our chicken leg quarters will make it moist and juicy while adding the lemon juice to the brine will give us a subtle lemony flavor without it being overwhelming. Our brine is ready. So we're going to put our chicken in the bowl, making sure that it is completely submerged. This will get covered up and go in the fridge. Okay, so about four hours have gone by and here we have some oil. You can use the type of oil that you like. I used some olive oil. To that oil I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. The Italian seasoning I used is just equal parts rosemary, marjoram, thyme, oregano, and basil. You can make it yourself using the herbs that you like or you can find it at the grocery store in the spice aisle. Alright, here we've taken the chicken out of the fridge and we're just going to take it out of the brine and pat it dry. Next you're going to want to put the chicken in a gallon sized zipper bag and you're going to want to pour this oil and herb marinade right over it. Give it a good rub on the outside, but don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and stick your fingers in there. You won't hurt it by sticking your fingers in it. You want to slide your fingers in there and get those herbs all over it. Alright, now that you're done having fun with it, Get that chicken back into that zipper bag and put it back in the fridge for at least two hours. Alright, two hours have gone by and it's time to light the grill. At this point, I want to take a few seconds to talk about safely cleaning your grill grate. Make sure you use a good quality brush and when you're done, check to make sure that none of the wire bristles got stuck to your grate. You don't want to end up eating one of those. Okay, here I've gone ahead and cut a large russet potato into eight wedges and I'm putting them in water until I'm ready to put them on the grill to keep them from discoloring. On this plate we have some margarine, Italian seasoning, garlic powder and salt. I'm going to drop this into the cast iron pan. This will go directly over the hot coals just long enough to melt the margarine. Yes, you can use butter if you want.
Now we're going to take those potatoes out of the water. Give them a good shake or wipe the excess water off with a paper towel. Now we're going to coat each potato wedge in the garlicky butter and herb mixture. Our chicken and potato wedges are now ready to go on the grill. Grill the potato on each side just long enough to give them some nice grill marks, then place them on the opposite side of the hot coals. Now we're going to do the same thing with the chicken leg quarters. Set them on the grate over the hot coals just long enough to give them some nice grill marks, then flip them over so they are not directly over the hot coals. We're going to cook both the potatoes and the chicken over indirect heat for about an hour, while turning the chicken legs 90 degrees every 15 minutes to get some nice even cooking. While we're in there, we're going to go ahead and brush on some more of that garlic and butter and herb mixture on those potato wedges. So about an hour has gone by, and here you see I've done a Texas cheat on the chicken leg quarters. I sprinkled them with a little water, wrapped them in aluminum foil, and set them back over the hot coals. Because nothing is worse than biting into chicken tartare. I'll leave the chicken on there for another half hour, but these potato wedges are done. So I'll pull them off the grill. While we're waiting for the chicken to finish cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get these peaches ready to roast. You want to pick peaches that are firm to the touch when you give them a good squeeze. But don't squeeze them too hard, though, because you will hurt them. Now all you have to do is find the seam in the peach and cut along it. You'll feel the knife hit the pit. Just cut the peach all the way around and then give the two halves a twist to separate them. Now the pit might give you a little trouble to come out and that's okay. Just take your knife and you'll be able to loosen the pit and take it out. Once you've cut the peaches in half, use a pastry brush to brush some oil on the cut sides. Then set them on the grill, directly over the hot coals. Oil up the top sides and flip them over to the indirect heat. Now sprinkle the cut sides with some brown sugar and cover the grill for about 10 minutes. Yes, I did forget to turn on the camera for that part. Consider it a first show error. Here you see the peaches after they are done. Pull them off the grill and put them in a bowl. Now here's the love. Go ahead and scoop some vanilla ice cream right on top of the hot peaches. And dinner is served. Ladies and gentlemen, is this food porn? Maybe it is. I just think it's good. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Good. Oh yeah. <clears throat> For full downloadable and printable barbecue recipes, along with tips and ideas for your next outdoor party, visit thecharcoalchef.us. I'm Big Vince, and I'll see you next time.